Hey guys, welcome back. We're on episode two of this break par series. Go back if you haven't already and watch last week's round. Uh, but spoiler alert, I did not break par. So first tee shot, hitting the six iron here. Fairly tight start, but just aiming to get over the brow of the hill. So first tee shot, struck it nicely. Just decided to hit a six iron this time, rather than the uh, shenanigans of last week after doubling the start, uh, putting my three iron into the trees. So hit a six iron, pulled it a little bit. So I should have cleared these trees here. So I reckon I must have caught the tree just here. It has dropped down, um, a little bit muddy. So give it a quick clean here. Playing 104 downhill, so probably about 90. Um, it's gonna be a bit boggy today after the amount of rain yesterday. So just a nice, easy, and three quarter gap wedge, gripping down a little bit. Oh, good guy. So from the camera's perspective, this green rolls a lot from left to right, so I'm aiming this fair amount from uh, from the camera's left to right, um, but should have really chipped that, padded through the fringe, and it just held up in the dewy grass. So, so I've got this eight footer for par, uphill, a little bit right to left, but unfortunately didn't quite make it. Mm, not too bad for a bogey start. So for some context, currently 8 handicap, but lowest I've been is 4. I have broken par a few times before, but not for about 6 years. Uh, and we're on the 9-hole course at Cottesmore in Sussex, uh, England. Um, absolutely beautiful course, currently a little wet, um, so that's going to be target golf today. Right, second hole, fairly big dog leg round to the left hand side, so we need to hit it about probably 220, 230 off the tee. Um, tees are further back today and into a bit of breeze. Okay, so hole number 2. We're a long way back and it feels like it's in the wind as well. So I'm not sure three iron will be enough. I think I've got to go three wood actually. So three wood usually will probably be too far, but today in the wind, long way back. Sorry for it. Far enough. Okay, second tee shot, a little bit pushy, tight down this left side. Um, into a wind a little bit today, a little bit more blustery than I thought it would be. So I think I might be in a bit of tree trouble again, but hopefully just had enough height to clear these ones in front here. Um, so let's go and find it. I think I got a bit lucky really. Caught the tree, must have caught the tree here. Got a shot to the green, it's off a down slope, so hitting a sand wedge, got 85. 85 to the flag. Looks like the flag's on the left, so yeah, a bit of risk to the right. Just gotta go over the edge of this tree in front. So just a nice, gotta kind of stay down on it. So tricky stance here, quite a downhill lie and hitting a high lofted club, so not really a fan of that, so gotta make sure I do stay down. Pin high. So just beyond pin high, got about a 30 footer, uh, breaking left to right, probably about a couple of feet. So, first part just rolling a few feet by, so just tidying up here for par. Onto the third, little par three, down the hill, probably play about 90 yards today. Okay, so, gonna take top off, it's actually quite warm now. Um, can't feel the breeze here. Sun's trying to break through. Um, 
So we're going to hit a sandwich here. It's 98 yards to the hole. However, playing a fair bit downhill, so about 88 yards or maybe slightly less. And I use an Arcos here to tell me the front and back yardage too. Downhill. So probably playing 10 yards. Good, but a bit cutty. Okay, so T shot was plugged, so I did just drop this. It's a little downhill slope, and from the camera's perspective, this is going to roll a fair bit from left to right. Um, so, we're going to try and aim a few yards out um, to the to my right and this left. So, I've got my trusty 50 degree wedge, just going to try and bump it onto the green and get it feeding around um, towards the hole. But just think I just uh, opened the club face a little bit and it just popped out to the left hand side, but uh, left myself four or five feet for par. Mm -hmm. So just tidying up here for another par. The miss is left. Um, if you go right, you're dead. Um, flag. Just left of the red tree in the distance. So there's plenty of room left. It just doesn't leave much of a shot in. Tricky shot in. So just gonna it anywhere. feel the wind now on this fourth hole and in fact actually on the third that's what could have pushed the tee shot a little bit uh, rather than me maybe cutting it it was kind of going that way um, didn't really feel any wind on the tee anyway fourth hole definitely a bit of a fade into that wind with the driver definitely uh, 40 yards left which is the miss so can't complain too much um, just gonna have probably a wedge into the green so let's go find it I'll be in the rough uh, otherwise, clear shot to the green. So it took me quite long to find this ball. It was buried in this kind of fluffy rough. I am a good 50 yards right of kind of where I should be on the fairway. Uh, otherwise, got 93 yards to the flag. Just going to hit a sort of three-quarter gap wedge here, a little bit into the breeze as well. Looks like two feet from here. That wedge shot was all over it. Okay, it looks like a couple of feet from back here, but probably more like three or four feet when I get to it. Let's go uh, hold it for birdie. So this green slopes from front to back. So we've got a downhill three, four footer here for birdie. Um, couldn't really see much movement in it, so I'm just going to hit it straight at the hole and just kind of dolly it down there as it's a, a tricky little downhiller. Okay, so fifth hole, my favourite hole on this uh, nine hole course here. Flag today, right at the bottom tier, so right at the front of the green. So yardage about 100 yards, playing a little bit downhill, so about 90 yards. Uh, so just gonna hit a sand wedge here. Okay, walking around off the tee shot. Um, hit my 56, hit my sand wedge, pin high, about 15 feet right. So pleased with that one. Uh, if anything, again in, in the uh, in the air, I thought it was a little bit, a little bit worried uh, it was going to come short, but otherwise pleased with the distance control again and a nice strike. So let's uh, put a nice roll on it for birdie. 
So Puffer Birdie got about a 15 footer slippery one down the hill right to left. Didn't really get the line or pace right for that first part, so got four foot up the hill, put the par. Okay, so sixth hole into the sun here. Uh, dog leg round to the left hand side, so hitting a three iron. Really just need to hit it sort of 200, 220 max off the tee, unless you can sort of fade it for maybe a lefty or uh, kind of hook it, draw it for a right handed golf around. So I'm looking to take a little bit of the tiger line up over the edge of the trees to the left here. Well, that was a tiger line. Just a little bit thin, a high thinny one. Okay, so here a pretty good tee shot. Did maybe push it a little bit further left than I wanted. Uh, a little bit high thin. Should have cleared these trees just here. It was high enough to. Um, so should be in the fairway. Wedge onto the green, hopefully. And the sun's coming out and the wind's dropping. So absolute Brucey bonus. Middle of the fairway after that tee shot, I've got 133 to the flag, so I'm going to hit a 9 iron here. Just a little awkward starts from my left foot being a little bit below the right. The ball though, I've just got a bit of an awkward start. Um, it's just a nice easy 9 iron. Make sure I get through it nicely and not um, kind of get stuck a little bit here on this start. Straight at the flag, the flag looks like it's middle of the green, straight to the players in the distance there. So gripping down a tad, nice easy, nice easy nine. Oh, pulled it a tad, let's hit, let's hit. Okay, caught a tree. Fluffy, this line. So just pulled the 9 iron, caught the tree on the way down actually, but otherwise pin high, just got this fluffy lie. Um, so just going to hit a 56 sand wedge. Um, aim is to just pitch it just over the semi onto the green and let it roll towards the flag. So a little bit of green to work with. Um, lie's not great, so I'm just going to play it off the back of my stance to make sure I get good contact. So we've got a six foot putt, save par. Couldn't really make my mind up on this one, whether it was going to be straight. Couldn't really see a lot in it. Um, or whether it was going to go a little bit of uh, my left to right, but from the camera perspective, uh, right to left. So I decided to go straight at it, um, but just unfortunately tailed off near the end. So I thought I'd try that one again just for a bit of practice and yes, uh, left edge and it just turns into the hole, so a little couple of inches of swing. Sort of 
drop down. Might be a bit of tree trouble. Okay, so pulled that tee shot a good 30 yards um, right of where I wanted it to go. So I really need to look at controlling my club face a little bit better. I um, think I might be far enough actually that I'm past the tree trouble. Um, so I'll buy these trees up here. Should be far enough. So let's go and have a look. So somewhat luckily uh, pulled six iron off the tee, made it past the trees on the right. Just coming out of the rough here, got a sand wedge. It's 93 yards to the flag. Thin, narrow green. So just have to carry it over. Definitely make sure I carry it over that front bunker. Okay, so fairly lucky with my tee shot. Plenty far enough past the trees on the right. Um, obviously lucky that I pulled it and uh, I was fortunate to have a clear shot. So I hit a good sandwich, 93 yards. Looks pretty good. So, puff a birdie. It's got about 15 footer puff for birdie. It's going to move, it's going to swing right to left by probably a couple of feet here. That wasn't a very good putt. That was a really flat, wristy and toey. Not a good putt. And a disappointing miss here, so uh, three putt, bogey. Okay, eighth hole, par three, 97 yards today. So just gonna hit a three quarter gap wedge. Don't think I can quite get sand wedge there. A little bit of breeze as well uh, into coming off the right hand side. Yeah, I didn't think I'd hit that enough, but it's up there. So, didn't feel like I really hit that one. Made a nice swing, didn't really hit that nice, but um, looks like it should be leaving me a putt for birdie, so let's have a look. Okay, so just up, just on the front here. Putt for birdie. This time, a little bit of slope in the middle. Okay, tee shot, just made it onto the front of the green here. Got about 15, 20 foot putt. A little bit left to right. Right, ninth tee shot. Uh, big dog leg round to the left hand side, so target line's just maybe 10, 20 yards left of the big fur in the distance. Gonna hit a three wood, as I went too far with the driver last time. So, um, hopefully don't go too far with this three woods today. A little bit of fade would be nice, but uh, just nutted it dead straight. Fine, as long as it's not too far, it's about 10 yards left of that big fur. Right, so struck through wood nicely, just pulled it a little bit, no sign of cut on that. Um, so hopefully didn't go too far, I'm going to find out once I've walked up there. Yeah, so probably about 10 yards too far off the tee, so I'm underneath these trees here, not really sure what to do. So the plan is to hit a punchy forearm underneath the trees where I'm at and then through the trees further up in front of the green and get it running up towards the green somewhere. And somehow pulled this shot off, uh, went under the trees, through the next set of trees, and uh, rolled up just onto the side of the green. Got lucky to be fair, because absolutely shot out on Now you can see where the flag is. Just gooched by that tree on the right. I think I chose the right shot. Struck it really nicely. Um, right distance as well with a four iron, 144 yards. Um, got lucky that I scooched between these trees here. Uh, the run on the right just somehow made it between the branches. So, a bit of fortune, but a good shot, so. Um, pleased with that one. 
just trying to make a nice two path of path. So after a bit of tree trouble off the tee, I'm really pleased to be on the side of the green for two, putting for birdie, about 20 foot, but this is a little bit slopey one, right to left, so nice two putt I'd be really happy with. And a disappointing three putt in the last. So a screenshot from the Arcos app, um, strokes gained based up against a scratch handicap golfer. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Next round will be out next Friday.